when you go to start your Rover 25, you may have this issue where the idle is all over the place, ranging from between 1500 RPM and it just goes up and down like this. Um, so, this is usually an issue with the throttle um, position sensor, which is this little thing here. Now today we're going to be replacing it on our Rover 25 because we have the symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor, or TPS. Um, so this is just one of the symptoms, um, idling high um, when, you know, stationary. Also another thing is fuel consumption. Usually that is a lot worse than what it should be. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it should really be idling at around, well when you start it up it should be idling at around um, 1100 and then when it warms up it should drop to about 800 rpm you know just below, below the one but in this case it doesn't like it and um, yeah and this is what we have to put up with when driving it can also be quite jerky and all that sort of thing you know a bit of bunny hopping here and there um, so hopefully a new sensor which is what we have here should be um, should be the trick um, these are found on uh, discount MG Rover spares. You can get them for about fifteen pounds, um, or you can go on eBay as well. So with the engine bay exposed, um, you may be thinking, where is this sensor? Well, this is the throttle body here, and this little connector here, just below this pipe, is where it is. You can just see it there. So to actually gain access to this a bit easier, you can take this pipe off. Ooh. Okay, that was a bit loose. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to come off just like that, but there we go. I mean, hey, there we, there it is. So um, yeah. Now the next thing, it's very very easy. Push this in, and just pull out like that. There you go, and then that is off. And now all we need to do is get a Torx bit and um, remove the old one. Now for this job I'm using a T15, let's remove these and put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. Also note there are some washers on this as well that you want to make sure you don't lose. And then the bottom one, slow that down a bit, here we go. Be sure not to drop that bracket either. So they are quite long. But there we go. That's that one off. And hopefully this should now just pull off like that. So that's the old one. As you can see. There we go. And now to put the new one on, which hopefully shall fit. Go. That's a lot easier to put on. And then we'll just put this one in first at the top. Make sure it lines up with the hole. Get the other one. There we go. Just tighten it up. Too tight, obviously. Just enough so it's nice and snug. There we go. Okie dokie. Right, so now just need to pop this pipe back on. Like so. And then get the connector and then pop it back in like that. Nice and easy. Right, so hopefully now when I go to test it. There we go. That is a lot better. It's idling a lot more. Uh, stably and well yeah there we go it's not bouncing up and down all over the place so that is a, 
a nice thing to have because when you're driving it's not pleasant with it jerking constantly every now and then. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's idling as it should do. Um, and yeah, nice, nice and easy little job. You know, it's nothing that you probably can't do at home. Um, it'll save you a lot of money rather than going down to a mechanic and getting it sorted or whatever. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's just a little thing to that. Takes two screws and pop a new one on. Bob's your uncle. There you go. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for a drive and see how it runs.